And in the wake of Hurricane Ian, experts say climate change puts coastal communities such as ours in the crosshairs of natural disasters. ABC 10 News reporter Moses Small explains why. Devastating storm surges and wind knocking trees to the ground. Meteorologist Alex Tardy says we've seen historic heat this past decade, fueling powerful storms like Hurricane Ian and Hurricane Kay. When you add um, warmer temperatures in the atmosphere, warmer temperatures in the ocean, you're basically adding more energy into the atmosphere. It doesn't mean you necessarily get more storms, um, but the magnitude of those storms, when they do occur, can be more intense. There goes my car floating away. And that's far from the only consequence of rising temperatures. Obviously, the warmer atmosphere creates glacier melt and that contributes to higher sea level. You'll, you'll see more flooding because that water doesn't have anywhere to go and it piles up along the uh, shoreline. Meantime, Santa Ana winds could send hot, dry desert air rushing through San Diego County as fast as 70 miles per hour as early as October. And while Tardy says windy weather is becoming more common. There's not a lot of predictors of, of uh, the amount of Santa Ana winds or even the intensity uh, beyond like two weeks. But in the middle of our historic drought. Santa Ana winds could potentially be a problem and the actual forecast for fire potential this fall is, is above average. So if we do get starts, that's the whole key. If you do get a fire start, um, the fire will have potential, especially when it's wind driven like in the Santa Ana to grow really large and rapid. Moses Small, ABC 10 News.